Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. I am here at the Airstream dealership dropping off Wanda for them to repair, fix, and do warranty work and all the stuff that broke during the Alaska trip. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for Troy to do the service order, I'm going to walk around and take a look at the 2020 models of what they have here at the dealership. So this is the little itty bitty, look how small it is, Caravel. Okay, the way that you can tell what 2020 models are is by the hitch right here. So the newer hitches is that easy to open and close. Look at that. This is fabulous. I like that. Okay, again, this is the Caravel. It's got one step, one axle. Oh my God, it's really small. <laughs> Okay, dining room. Oh, here it. Oh, look at. Oh my goodness! Wow, sixteen rear bedroom. And asking price, sixty-two thousand. Oh my goodness, two thirty-four, sixty-three thousand. Okay, this turns into a bed. You got slider. Oh, I don't like these. These slider things. I don't. Burn. They remind me of my first apartment. And they're, it's acrylic. It's not even glass. Oh, don't know. I like, I like cabinets. Okay, two burner sink, little stove, microwave. Oh, it's a microwave convection. Oh wow, they give you cabinet. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Sink. Oh, look at that. Cute sink. Oh, battery fresh and black. There's no gray tank. Water heater, electric or gas. I don't know how many gallons. See how many gallons systems 23 gallons fresh water and gray and black tank is 28 gallons so it's combined what's so under here okay they don't give you much storage oh this is a twin this is a very small bed. Okay, this is good for one person only. And I think this is a wet bath. Okay, RVology, a wet bath is when it's a shower and a toilet all in one. I don't like that <laughs> but that's just me I take two showers a day sometimes like today I've been sweating so it's probably gonna be a two-day shower and this would not work for me but it might for some other people But you want a small towable trailer, this would be perfect for one person. I don't see a couple being in here. I guess a couple could be in here, but nah. Walter and I could never be in here. This is way too confining for us. This is what, maybe 50, 25 square feet? Our bathroom's larger than this. <laughs> it's cute though. I 
you could tow this with a car. Okay, let's see what the base vehicle weight rating is. Oh my goodness, look at that. 2,000 pounds, fully loaded, 43. You tow this with a car. You tow this with a Camaro. <laughs> That's the new Caravel. Okay, this is the new Bambi. 2020 it's 22 feet and suggested retail price is 60,000 I was originally going to get one of these but with Walter coming on some of the trips a this is a it's larger than a full but smaller than a queen which means I would have to crawl over him because I sleep on that side of the bed but they do have USB ports on both sides which is really nice so as long as you don't mind climbing over the person who's sleeping with in order to access the restroom which is at that end it would be fine but I like the walk around bed so that's why we got a 27 footer but isn't this adorable overhead lockers ample space oh that's where they put the uh, utensils double sink so blinds instead of shades more storage up here oh okay radio more USB ports wonderful is this a DVD player too oh it is a DVD player also a TV and it looks like it's just a microwave. Two burner stove. Okay, these, the stuff gets trapped in there. What I did find out is you lift this up like that in order to clean it. So. Okay, TV. Oh, look at this. It's a latch. There's a latch. Small refrigerator. But we eat out a lot, so <laughs> the fridge is not. Okay, it's got blinds. This thing swivels, I know. There's a lock there and there. We got a closet here. Oh, it's a good size closet. The hangy stuff, I wouldn't. I would put two shelves here, a shelf here, and another shelf here, because we don't really do hangy stuff other than the coats. The bathroom's a good size. They can change this out to a bidet toilet. That's what they did with mine. Oh, the monitors are here in the bathroom. Water heater. I don't know what this is. So the shower. It's a little bit height wise. It's it's a little bit narrower than the globe trotter, but space wise, width wise, it's it's larger. Height wise, it loses the height a little bit because it's in the corner, but you gain it by the width. So that's a nice thing. 
So the shower is actually wider than what I have. Nice. Accordion door. I don't know if I like this. I don't like it. No, I don't like the accordion door. I like my glass door. Oh, okay, it latches on over here. Huh. Okay, that's the 22, what is this? 22 foot front bedroom. Okay, the air conditioner is, is not integrated inside, so it's an above, I don't know what you call it, it's not what I have. That's the Bambi. It's got one axle. And I'm sure it's a lot lighter. Okay, the newer models have this new coupler. Look at that. It's so easy. Wow. Okay, what is the base weight of this? Oh, wow. 2,268, 5,000 full. And tow this with an SUV. Cute, but a little too small for us. There's a two axle flying cloud. Let's see if the door's open. Oh, okay, the door's open. Okay, this flying cloud, two axle. This glass door makes more sense to me. Yep, same shower. So, I like the shower, the fact that it's wider. This is the one I was looking at before as a possibility for, for us, but it's just a little bit too small. Walter would have been on that side. I would have been over here. This turns into a bed, but that would have never happened. It's got ample storage space above. <laughs> Kitchen area, storage, storage up above. Okay, what I like about what I like about the glow trotter is that there's lights up here and the flying cloud does not. But I like the finish of this. It's a lot nicer in my opinion because I like lighter wood. Okay, two two basin sink. Ooh, look at this oven or stove. Oh. Okay, it folds out like that. Oh! Look at this stove! Oh! Oh, 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 I don't like that. Oh, 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 I don't like this. So look at that. 
stuff can fall under there how do you clean that oh I don't like that uh, goes all the way around and on this also oh we don't like that part how do you clean that does this come out doesn't look like it comes out I don't like that stuff can fall in there okay we're not getting this <laughs> it looks neat okay, what's over here trash can oh drawers oh okay more drawers They're here, storage. Oh, there's storage. Oh, look, there's storage under here too, where the sofas are. Oh, look, it's pretty deep. Let's see this one. Ah. Okay, this one's got speakers. What's this one? Okay, that's really narrow. Really narrow storage. Look at that. But it's still storage. Here's the closet. Nice and deep. I almost put shelving back here. Shelf, shelf. Nice, nice drawers. Oh, another closet. I would put shelves here. Okay, again another reason why I didn't get this it is a walk around bed however this is very small over here when you walk around it ow see I already hit my myself on this you have to stoop down in order to walk around it and I would hit my head on this all the time I don't like that and again I've already hit my back on this So it is tight, it is manageable, but tight. So storage up here and storage here. And I believe there's USB ports over there somewhere. Oh, there it is. There's a USB port over there. I don't see one. Oh, I'm gonna hit myself again. I don't see one over here on this side of the bed. Nope, there isn't one. They need to put one here for the person on this side. And there's also no nightstand on this side of the bed. I like nightstands. There's only one over there on that side. This is an RV Queen round. It's cute. Oh, there's a curtain here. Okay. Yeah, this would be this would have been too small for. This is good for one person, but not for two people. It's just a little too small. It's cute. Oh, okay, let's look at the base price. This is the 23 feet flying cloud 2020. And suggested retail price is seventy-nine thousand. Oh, I didn't see this. This part of the kitchen. Okay, the racks already fallen down. <laughs> storage up here I don't know what's down here oh it doesn't open okay it doesn't open okay 23 feet 2020 flying cloud the other reason I did not get a flying cloud is because the stabilizer jacks 
they're all manual you have to manually do it yourself with a little prank thing or a little screw thing and so is the awning it's manual I wanted it to be I wanted everything as automatic as possible another reason why we got the globe trotter instead of the flying cloud flying cloud would have been cheaper by about 50,000 all the amenities I was looking for as far as automation wise and also accent lights inside so I'm still happy with my purchase see that much of a difference in the 2020 models. Okay, you can tell the 2020 models from the 2019 are the pitch. So, the older hitch, which is what I have, is this style. And the newer hitches are this style. A lot easier to open and close. Okay, these are open. So I don't know what model these are. So, we're gonna go look! Fly, it's a flying cloud. The, the awning, again, is manual. And so are the stabilizer jacks. Stabilizers. Oh, this is a 30 footer. Okay, front bedroom, queen. I like it because there's nightstands here. And you've got a privacy door here. Oh, it's 30 feet. And it's got the bunk back here. See, it's bunk and then the... I think this is a full bathrooms over here it's been winterized so it's wider but it doesn't hmm. I do like these corner showers because they are wider And you get more leg room around the the toilet. Yep, there's a lot more there's a lot more spread <laughs> when you're sitting in the toilet. Oh okay. Something new I learned. So this little area here, I could take this out and make this into Walter's room. Put a desk over here and make this his workspace. Hmm, something to think about for the future. There's a lot of drawers. That's always nice. That would just be for coats. See, this one has metal shelves. I want metal shelves. I don't like the new ovens though. Because again, stuff can fall in there. Look at that. I don't like that. It's a lot of above storage uh, 
I like how firm the sofa is. The cushions are a lot firmer. Are there plugs down there? Oh, there's plugs down there. Perfect. Okay, I don't like the I don't like how wobbly these pedestal tables are. That's why I added legs to ours. I do like that the windows are facing out. Because our windows are over here in the utility side. Like these. A lot more windows. I like this. Other than the fact that it's not doesn't have the lighting inside. I like the lighting when it comes on automatically. This is nice. I'm surprised about the corner bathroom, how spacious it is. But it's 30 feet. A lot larger than what we have now. This is way too much trailer. I don't know. Let's look at the one next door. Oh, base price for this 30 feet flying cloud bunk, front queen. And the base price is 104, 105. I think with all the upgrades that we had, we paid about 140. Okay, this one. This one's got electric. This is an electric awning. I don't know what this is. This is a... It's a classic. Okay, there's the power stabilizer. Power stabilizer jacks. It's got the recliner sofas. I like this room right here. This is nice that it has drawers where the nightstand is. This I like. I like this drawer. Okay, it's got... This I like too, instead of curtains. It's a little easier to open and close. Oh, it's got shades over here. Oh, it's got two. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I like that. There's all the control panels. Check out the bathroom. The bathroom doesn't look any more spacious than what I already have. Let's see what the door closes. Oh, it is. It is a lot more spacious in here. I like this mirror. I don't have a mirror this size. Oh look, there's a door mirror too. Cool. <clears throat> See, this is a nice sink. Oh, it's got heated towel bar. And it's got a window in the bathroom.
showers about shower is the same size exactly the same size storage same size Oh, spice rack. Oh, what's this? Oh, pull out. Cute. Okay, this is the same stove I have. And to clean it, you pull this out, just like that, put, pop it back in. So this is nice, but I don't know what this is. So Walter would sit here on this side. I would sit, Walter would sit there. And I would sit here with a table set up. Not really that impressed with it. <laughs> I like this. This is nice. Oh, base price. Okay, this is the 23 Rear Bedroom Classic 2020. And price is 154, 155. Close to what I paid. And I still need to upgrade it. I do like it that all the panel things I like the window shades that's nice but it's 30 feet and I would need a new truck here's another classic Okay, this one's the front bedroom. Darker wood. I don't understand why they have all these pillows. <laughs> okay, this is nice. This is the different setup. And this is the 33. Oh, this one's 33 feet. It's even longer. And base price is one. 65 So it's got a larger refrigerator And look it's got metal shelves Wonderful metal shelves. I have plastic they break Okay, this is what I currently have right now This is the stove I currently have, but when you put a pots or pans in here, sometimes they swivel around. And that's the part I don't like. So oven and microwave. The oven I would never use. Same range roof. And sometimes this fan does not work. I like the fact that it comes with a table. <clears throat> what I don't like is this TV. 
I, I, I just want I, I don't really like projector TVs and this is a projector TV oh I like the back screen lots of storage space Okay, it's the same size sink. I do like the table. And I love the bathroom in here. This closet's wonderful. Cedar line. Oh, there's a vault. And the shower. Oh, look at that. There's a, there's a mirror. There's a mirror over here too. Mirrors everywhere. Good size sink. And I like the toilet. It's a good size toilet. It's lots of ample room and legs. Legs spread. Back window. So when you're pooping, you can see the outside. <laughs> Has heated towel bars. There's a lot of storage in here too. Oh, storage over here too. Cool. I like the new. And I like how big this bathroom is. So you're spraying water into the aluminum skin. I don't know how that would work out. But it's a lot roomier. Very nice. Again, don't really care for the projection TV. And this. I'm having replaced. This is what's in Wanda right now. Terrible. You don't know whether it's on or off. There's no light indicator on it. Okay, what I really like, what I really like about this model is the bathroom how big that shower is if they can incorporate that bathroom into a 27 footer that would be fantastic I also like the front bedroom oh I have a front bedroom never mind <laughs> I like that. I like that rear back. Thirty-three feet too long. Okay, that concludes my tour of the Airstream dealerships U twenty twenty model that they have here at the lot at this moment. Thank you for watching. Bye.